Instagram is testing account switching in iOS, One Medical acquires diet coaching app Rise, Glue Mobile announces a new deal with Taylor Swift, and more. It's Friday, February 5th, and this is Crunch Report. One Medical has announced that it is acquiring Rise, which is an app that connects users with diet coaches. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that the acquisition price was $20 million. Now, Rise had previously raised $4 million in venture financing from investors including Google Ventures, Greylock Partners, and Cowboy Ventures. Rise's goal is to lower the cost of a personal nutritionist and trainer with in-app subscription-based diet coaching services ranging from $9 per month up to $50 per month. Back in August, Rise said it had hit $1 million in revenue run rate in its first year of operation, and it also bought Healthy Out, which uses machine learning to browse menus of nearby restaurants and then pick healthy food options for customers. One Medical is also growing quickly. In 2015, it added 80,000 new patients to its health insurance program. The Rise team says that the app will continue as is, and co-founders Sunil Gupta and Stuart Parmenter will continue working on it from within One Medical. Instagram is testing multiple account switching in iOS and confirmed the feature after a few users noticed it go live in their app. This follows a test last November of the same feature on Android within an Instagram beta test group. Now, if you just have one Instagram account, I do, a lot of people do, this isn't gonna change your behavior much because it's all going to the same place anyway, but a lot of users have more than one account to theme their photos and videos under different names and personas. Apparently, there's a term called Finstagram, and that's a thing. It means fake Instagram account. I don't know, if that's maybe a little millennial for me. Sarah Perez taught me that in her TechCrunch article today. But anyway, if you have multiple accounts, easy switching is an obvious feature. It'll keep you more engaged. It'll probably keep you hanging out inside the app longer, and of course, Instagram wants that. To see if you have the feature already, go to your Instagram profile page, click settings, and then look for the add account option. Since it went public in 2014, Rocket Internet has been working on reorganizing the startups inside its incubator. Today, Berlin-based Rocket announced it's selling food takeaway operators in Spain, Italy, Brazil, and Mexico to Just Eat for 125 million euros or about $140 million, with the explanation that they are all non-core operations that are not market leading. That means the markets weren't bringing in a lot of money. Now, Just Eat is based in London and competes with companies like Delivery Hero and others and online food ordering and delivery services. It went public in 2014 at a $2.4 billion valuation, and growth now has it valued at $3.7 billion. Rocket Internet is valued at $4 billion, and the news today bumped the stock up about 10%. People like it. Xerx, an on-demand valet startup, is shutting down its consumer service on February 29th. It's not shutting down totally, though. Xerx says it'll shift its focus to enterprise service, which offers parking to companies, valet services, and other value adds for employees of those companies, like a car wash or a gas refill. The Xerx app had been giving users on-demand access to valets that'll pick up and drop off their cars nice and convenient. Pricing covers a daily or a monthly fee. And then other valet services in the market include a company like Lux, which has raised around $25 million from investors like Google Ventures and Lightspeed Venture Partners. Glue Mobile, which makes the viral app Kim Kardashian Hollywood. It used to be viral anyway, nobody really plays it anymore. It also owns a stake in the top trivia game Quiz Up. Glue just announced a new deal with pop star Taylor Swift. Taylor and Glue will work together over the course of a multi-year partnership to deliver what the company calls a new and highly differentiated gaming experience. Okay, whatever. Glue says the game itself is expected to launch in late 2016, and Swift's first swing at a mobile game, or maybe even multiple games. But she did previously win an Emmy for Best Original Interactive Program for her Amex Unstaged Taylor Swift experience. So she's kind of done this before, or her team has. Swift also has her official app on iOS and Android, which is published by M. Rohde, which currently sits at number 540 in music on iOS, and is currently unranked on Android. You know, fans are fickle. But even if the Taylor Swift game has a really short shelf life, it can still make a lot of money in a short amount of time for Glue. Kim Kardashian Hollywood brought in $13.6 million, or 24% of Glue's revenue in Q4 of 2015, and that's after its heyday. The company said that for the first fiscal quarter of 2016, it's anticipating a loss between five and six cents per share on revenue between 46 million and 48 million dollars. Perhaps Taylor can edge out some of the 
bad blood. Sorry I had to do that. That is the report for today. I'm going to leave now. I'm Sarah Lane. Thanks for watching. Hey, our annual Crunchies Awards are happening Monday, February 8th, just a few days away. If you want to buy tickets, you have like, you have to do it now. TechCrunch.com slash Crunchies. Just do it. Hope to see you there. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on TechCrunch.com. You can find us on iTunes and on YouTube as well. Have a great weekend.